Hey, what's up guys? I thought I'd show you some of the craziness that I'm, or maybe it's madness for model car madness, but I don't know. I'm thinking I might have bit off more than I can chew here. I got a jigsaw puzzle, or it looks like it's going to be a jigsaw puzzle. But I had this idea for, and it's been a long time, I, I build these pro stock cars, and I build a lot of Warren Johnson's cars. And I always had a thing for this, um, the Calais that he ran, the Olds Calais. And that was about like 1985, I believe. Problem is nobody makes a body. And I really wanted to build this car. So uh, a couple years ago, I got to thinking about what I could use, how I could make it. And I asked a friend of mine, and he told he kind of thought that this this back window, side window area here kind of looked like a 90 Cougar. So I thought, yeah, I think you got an idea there. So what I did, I'm going to try to make this long story short, but I bought one of those Cougar kits about three or four years ago, probably before I came to Thailand. And I was doing, getting some measurements off the internet, um, you know, body specs of the Calais for wheelbase and width and length and all that stuff. And it appeared to me that it was similar in size to a Beretta. So I had a Beretta body, and I got I did some cropping on the internet, like um, not Photoshop or anything, but like just chopped up some pictures and came up with something that kind of resembled what I was trying to build. But the problem is I can't find those pictures anymore. So I basically started from scratch, and I had got out this Beretta, I got the Cougar. And I got the Olds, the 83 Olds Cutlass that I built the Warren Johnson Cutlass out of. And I had them all sitting on the bench, and I'm scrutinizing this stuff and looking at it. And I just started cutting, and I didn't, I, I decided, I'll show you what I got done in a minute, but I, I decided that I wanted to use the Beretta roof. I, I thought the, the windshield pillars, let me get this in front of the camera, the windshield posts, and the roof here, I kind of thought that looked pretty close, but I didn't. I hated the idea of destroying a Beretta body, so I got out, got out my silicone, and and I made a made a mold of just the roof, and this is the plug part of it. I realize this camera angle is not so good right now. Let me see if I can change that a little bit. So anyway, I made made a mold, and I poured some resin, and I cast a roof. And here's what's left of it after I got done, got it out of the mold, and started chopping it up. I got the front <laughs> front half of it. It's craziness, I know. But here's the back half. So what I, you know, just cut it in half. And now I'm going to lead into where I'm at here. I have. This is what basically I'm not using out of the cutlass, which I originally was going to use this back window. But I ended up with the, the cougar. The rear window section of the cougar. And I now have a quarter panel from the 83 cutlass on it. I've narrowed this. I've shortened the roof a couple times. I used, I had the whole roof together here. Actually, that doesn't go there. Um, I had the side, had this all together with the full cougar roof. And it just looked too big for one thing. So that's, that's what prompted me to narrow it, shorten this quarter window. I cut this in half to shorten this. Because I've realized that the Beretta has the same wheelbase as the Calais, so I, I shortened this to, to match the Beretta's wheelbase. And I'm going to end up with the Beretta roof on there. It's kind of hard to hold this all together and explain it, but that's kind of, you know, where I'm going with this. And I'm, I was, I'm going to use the tail lights from... The 83 cutlass but I have a bunch of cougar parts here so I'm thinking I'm going to use this it's going to give me the side 
side skirting kind of like the picture up there has a little bit and there's also a the cougar had these yeah, side skirts also that I'm gonna put on to here whichever way they go yeah like that I gotta gotta do the get the length right and I got a feeling I'm gonna end up using this cougar and is that it? Is that the nose? Oh, actually this one. Yeah. I'm going to start with that to make the Calais nose. So I don't know if I'm going to have a scrap pile here or if I can actually make something out of it. But I'm going to try. And this is going to be a long-term project. I got, I'm not necessarily intending on building this car right now. But I figure if I can make the body, that's... Then I'll probably get on it, but I, I, it's not really on my list right now. I'm, st I'm still trying to get this 56 Chevy done, which, as you can see here, I got the, the chassis is almost done. I got to put tires and wheels on it yet. I've been working on my, working on my front wheels, and I like, I love these five-spoke Americans, but I didn't want the backing of my, what I use for the wheel back to show. So I've been whittling away on them and trimming them out so so when it's all together you'll actually see through them and I decided on different the back wheels I think I showed last time that I wanted to use didn't fit the tire right so I ended up with these bear they call them bear claws they didn't fit right either so I wrapped some styrene around them and now now they fit pretty good um, yeah that's 56 is I just put a little bit of putty on on the body here so I'm hoping to start putting some paint on this maybe tomorrow it's gonna to be orange and white two-tone and I did I got the cow the cow scoop molded on at the bumpers stripped and took the bumper guards off these I'm gonna paint with my spaz sticks chrome paint bare metal foil on the trim so it should have a little bit of shine and I also got thinking about this willies the 34 willies so I cut the running boards off bob defenders a little bit here and opened them up kind of like the, the one I'm trying to uh, pattern it after started filling in the grill because I'm it's going to be like a fiberglass front end so I'll drill some holes in there to get air through I think I think the car I was looking at has the holes and I don't have a frame for this so what I, I started with some some square stock and got a frame roughed in I'm, I'm not sure how it's if it's gonna work or not or if I'm you know gonna end up starting over a lot of times when I try to build these from scratch I end up taking two or three times till I get one that that works but I did I got a rear with some tires for mock up anyway and that I don't this is one I'm not gonna it's a little bit narrow but I'm not going for the, the tucked in tire look so it's gonna sit up a little bit higher and not real not real low in the front which is this goes completely against my you know my style where everything's slammed in the weeds where this one's not going to be it's not going to be real nose high gas or like that, you know, but it, it is going to be, it's not going to sit low. And I, I don't have a color picked out for that yet. The one I'm patterning it off of is a, like a maroonish color. I don't know what I'm going to end up with. But I got, I got a big mess because I got a whole lot of stuff going on at one time here. And hopefully I'll, I'm hoping I can make, make this uh, Olds Calais though. That's, that's kind of one of my bucket list cars or whatever you want to call it so if I and and I'm even thinking if I can successfully make this I because I know what happens with bodywork seams here later on you know they show so I'm, I'm thinking if I can succeed I may make a mold and try to cast a body out of it in resin it'll be a little bit stronger I think so anyway, that's about all that's going on here, which actually seems like a lot that's going on. I, I can't, I don't know what I'm doing next here. I'm getting so into this that I, it seems like I spend more time on this body 
and I'm not getting anything else done or as much as I want to get done. I'd like to get this 56 done in the next week, I think. I'm hoping. So, probably be back with an update when I get that done. Uh, and maybe by that time I'll have enough pieces together to, sh to have this either look like a Calais, similar to a Calais, or end up with a junk pile. We'll see. But, that's it for now. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.